So, problem number four. I hear a number of teachers and a number of students had randomly selected sample of high schools in a city. Um, you're given the teachers in the first row and the students in the second row. You're asked to make a scatter plot of the data using teachers as the independent variable. So using Excel, uh, we're going to put teachers then in the left, the teacher data in the left hand column. We're going to put the um, students population in the right hand column and we're going to enter the data um, 92, 52, 114, 49, 110, 62, 76, and 84. 84. And then going to the student population we have 1050, 653, 753, 381, 1,312, 813, 496, and 910. Okay, so in order to create the trend line, we simply highlight this data. Okay, and now we're going to go up to the insert. So I better move the box so you can see that. So we're going to go to the insert tab and uh, insert, there it is, and we're going to go to the scatter and where it says scatter with um, so scatter with only markers, you click on that and we wind up getting our scatter plot. So there's the scatter plot that we see and you notice we have our uh, y-axis, which again is the number of students, and our x-axis is the number of teachers. To create a trend line for this data, all we have to do is click on the right click on one of the points, and it highlights all the points. We're going to go down, scroll down until we see Add Trend Line, and we're going to get ourselves a dialog box. So you notice here that it shows linear. Uh, we're going to go down here to display equation on the chart and we're also going to display the R squared or well, that's our correlation factor value on the chart as well. Okay, and then we simply go close and you'll see right here that we have not only the uh, trend line but we also have the equation of that line. Let me highlight that a little more for you so you can see that plainly. So we'll go up to 12. There it is. Right there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take that information. By the way, you can move the uh, chart anywhere you want. We can make it smaller, make it larger. Okay. Um, matter of fact, let's make it smaller. So we can actually. Mark and let's see here, put the equation right up there. Okay, bring the whole chart down. All right, so we're going to look real quickly um, that asks you some questions. Uh, so we made a scatter plot. We found the correlation coefficient, which in this case was uh, 0.4605, and the equation of the line of best fit. So y being the students, so student population. Um, 8.2041 times the number of teachers plus 140.69. So it says here, predict the number of teachers in a high school that has 600 students and how accurate do you think that prediction is? So I'm looking at this equation right here. I'm looking at the equation. And I see that um, Basically, we have um, y equal to 8.2041 times x uh, plus 140.69. So if I replace y with 600 and then go ahead and actually uh, create the formula, 600 minus, so if I subtract 140.69 from both sides of the equation, 
and then divide both sides of the equation by 8.2041, I wind up getting uh, x. So if I perform the calculations, um, and let's go ahead and we can actually do that with the graphing calculator here, which I'll bring in, I think, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so it looks like I can't do that. So, now I can bring in the Catherine calculator. So, if you recall, let's see if I can get that to go this time. So here we go, 8 point, so 600 minus 140.69, so 6, and divided by 8.2041, let me write that down real quick, so we have 600 minus 140.69 divided by 8.2041, okay, so let me get out of annotation here. Get back to the calculator. There it is. Let's turn it on. Turn it on. Okay. So we're going to go um, 600 minus 140.69. We wind up getting 459.31. Then if I divide that by 8.2041, 8.2041, I wind up getting an answer of about 56 if I round to the nearest whole teacher. Okay, so my answer then, my answer then uh, for C would be approximately 56 teachers. Okay, and <clears throat> What, uh, how accurate is that? Well, it's about a 46% accuracy rate, uh, depending upon my R squared correlation factor.